for Hofstra back in the postseason for the first time since 2018. Swings and misses because of that movement. And there's a swing and a miss. Strikeout to start things off. That was a swing for a strike. So a couple of strikeouts to start things off. 2-2 two, two now. There's the strikeout. One, two, three, down they go by way of the strikeout. Certainly Nicole May did that in the circle to start this game. Coleman gets it past the outstretch glove of Ayapolo at first as well. She cranks this one into center field. It is a sliding catch made by Chelsea Manto out there in center, but it is a double for Jennings and the Sooners in business with runners in scoring position. Swing and a miss. We'll sit down Sanders for the first out all season long. Ball hit up the middle. Collins makes the play, but not in time. Oklahoma scores. Brito tries the bunt. It goes into the glove for a double play. Well, that's a good way to stop the threat, but the Sooners striking first. Infield fly goes to who else? Jennings records all the outs in a five pitch inning. This ballpark, it is the final one as Kinsey Hansen leads off with a hit. A beautiful new facility coming for Oklahoma. Loves Field just down the road, hitting the seven spot today for Oklahoma. And she cracks it. Going out to left, going out and gone. Ball didn't quite make it all the way out to Home Run Village, but it'll do nonetheless a two-run shot from the shortstop. When everything lines up and you're on time and you can elevate the barrel through the zone, the Grace Lions knew it immediately. Just an explosive hit for Oklahoma. It's something they've been doing all season long. Morse hits the ball deep and in fair territory. First hit for the pride and the freshman coming through. A special moment for all these players, like seniors, especially like McKevitt, getting an opportunity to play on this stage, although she is sat down with a fourth strikeout on the day from Nicole May. Hits it over to third, Brito gloves it, makes the play to first, and that will end the inning. You know, let me settle in a little bit. And she started doing it in the third game, a conference play of each series. That was a long throw to make, and it does pop out of the glove of Iapolo. Hitting it right toward that logo out in center field. And she has her first hit of the day home logos on the batting helmets here in the postseason. This should score another run for Oklahoma. Maybe two, yep, another one coming across the plate. It's a double for Hanson and two more score for the Sooners. Kinsey Hanson is very patient on this outside pitch. Gets her front foot down, allows the ball to travel, keeps her hands back and is able to drive the ball with power to the opposite field. I think she had to give it back. Boone, high fly ball on the run is Manto and makes the catch, an impressive play defensively for Manto. 2-2, two -two. did she go? Yep. First base umpire Scott Tomlinson says she did. Strikeout number five. 3-1. Does miss. That is the first walk. 145 at bats. Coleman up in the air. Is the wind going to care? No, it's gone. Jada Coleman, home run number 15 on the season.
such an impressive at bat for Coleman. She starts this at bat with her short game and it ends with this. The pitch is up in the zone. She's able to get her hands up, her barrel up high enough, just gets enough on it to drive it out of the park. And especially in this regional, as Sanders draws the walk with this Oklahoma lineup for multiple years. Lee will take the base. Woo, right up the middle. Nothing that Brennan could do. And Sooners will score again. Maybe a little ambitious there from Brito getting to second, but she does get in safely and has the clap after the fact to rile up the crowd a bit more. A good at bat from Brito. She works to a full count, drives it right back up the box. Good base running as well. The hesitation from Ayapola allows her to get into the bag. A quick throw there would have had her in a rundown. Would get a little extra rest before heading into the winner's bracket tomorrow. Another one up the middle in the air this time to come across. Hard to stop these scooters from scoring. It was good plate discipline from Kinsey Hansen. Been so impressed with all her at-bats today. She's really allowed the ball to get deep and absolutely explodes on time. We'll lift that front foot, set it down, and watch how she lets the ball come right in front of the plate before she really attacks. And that has resulted in two very hard hit balls today for Kinsey Hansen, actually three for three. Went up high, no contact on the pitch. And so good start in the circle for Pisapia. Just one hit for the pride. Nugent making the most of her at bat. And she's aboard with a single. Oklahoma winners of 43 in a row. Longest winning streak in the country as this ball is dropped. Looked like the inning was over, but Collins cannot keep it in her glove. And just like that, another run comes across. Slower than her fastest speed, and she throws that more than she throws her fast pitches. Hops for another chance to end the inning. This time they do. Ayapolo catches it, but Oklahoma rolling. Last chance at the plate coming up for Hofstra. Good spin to all four quadrants, also can mix speeds. Nicole May, I mean, this is just the second time through the order for this part of the lineup. Morris again gets her bat on the ball, but the long run out and right. That is Grace Green who came into the game and sees a little action to finish this one off. A dominant performance, Carol, from a dominant team. Just a special first day of the regional.